Okay, welcome back. So, we're on week 20, we're on February 9th, and we just did angle, 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 side, side, side. But the real world problems are based on side, angle, side, okay? And I like to call it triangle and a triangle, all right? So in this case, angle A is congruent to D. So let's mark that. A congruent to D. Now, this is a fancy way of saying AB goes to DE as A, excuse me, AB is to, goes to DE. AC goes to DF in proportion. Proportions are the same. Proportions. Proportions are the same. Okay. Now I've been doing the three, four, five, the famous 90 degree triangle. So let's draw that again. Okay. So I have three, four, five. Okay. But all I know is that and that. Now I'm going to make it, we did four, so let's just keep it four times bigger. Okay, 12, 90, 20. Okay, so the idea here is this side to this side, and they went what, A, B, C? A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so A, B to DE, so I'm going to make it easy math, 12 divided by 3, we have an angle. Angle A is congruent to angle D, and those are 90 degrees in this drawing, okay? And then the last one, AC, DF, 20 goes to 5, which is so the key here is the proportions are the same if I have one angle. All right? So now if you need to, pause the video and try this problem. Okay? See if you can see that, yes, indeed, the proportions are the same. And then can you find an angle that they go together with? All right, welcome back. Okay, so I'm going to go short, short, medium, medium. The key to this problem, remember the bow tie problem, is vertical angles. Okay, now, in this case, let's show it. 18 goes to 9. Yep, 2. 20 goes to 10. Yep. And we have angle E is congruent to angle E, vertical angles. Okay. Now, when we look at this, we're like, uh, okay. How does that help us with real world problems? All right, so let's go try one. This is gonna be your homework. Angle, angle, side, 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 angle, side. See if you can make sense of this triangle and make sense of this triangle. Cool, all right. Now our real world problem, okay? Indirect measurement, okay? Little triangle, big triangle. Okay, little triangle, big triangle. So little triangle, big triangle. I'm not seeing it. I'm going to redraw it. Okay, so let's put the little guy right here. And we have 6 feet and 5.5 .5 feet. 
And then we're going to have this big triangle. Now this one, we want to know how tall is the tree. And we know this distance. 21 feet. 21 feet. Now, the key is straight up and down. 90 degree, 90 degree. So the first thing I need you to see is side, angle, side. Side angle side now when we draw a triangle in a triangle when we draw a triangle in a triangle can you see how this angle belongs to both okay this angle here belongs to both, okay? Then, because that's 90 degrees, I know we have parallel lines. Wow. Side angle side. They are indeed similar. Now I'm going to pause. I want you to pause this video and write that down. And then we're going to go try a real world problem. Okay? All right. Welcome back. So this idea, triangle and a triangle, parallel lines, 90 degrees. Okay? 90 degrees. All I'm doing is taking a little triangle and making it bigger. I want you to go outside and locate a shadow. Locate a shadow. Once you locate a shadow, I want you to get some measurements. You need to find a place where when you stand, your shadow matches and you can create triangle on a triangle. Locate a shadow, then align yourself with triangle in a triangle. Okay? All right. So I did that. There's this tree down by the golf course. And now I've got to get some measurements. Pace, step to get measures. Okay. Now in this case, my little triangle, I'm six feet tall. And my shadow was 12 feet. The big triangle, this turned out to be 90 feet, but I don't know how tall the tree is. Okay? So, side, 90 degrees, 90 degrees angle side okay now set up the proportion and solve all right set up the proportion and solve okay so 6 to 12 is the same as the tree to 90. Okay? Now, last week, cross multiply that to that, that to that. So 12 times the tree 
is equal to 6 times 90. Well, 12 tree equals 540. Divide by 12, divide by 12, and lo and behold, the tree is 45 feet tall. Your homework this week is to go outside, find a shadow, and see if you can create this type of a problem. See you on Thursday. We'll study a little bit more about proportions and mafia. See you then.